Hi, I'm Tim Carter from AskTheBuilder.com here at a new construction job site in New Hampshire. It's a frosty morning, but really unique opportunity to show you a very unique truss design. Look at this. So here's a nice wood truss that's actually for the garage in this home, but, but most trusses you see, you'll see the rafter part come down, and then you'll see the bottom core just come straight across, but look at this funny design here where here's the bottom cord, but then it takes off at an angle and runs down to the, where it bears on the wall. And you might ask, well, why in the world would they do that? That seems kind of crazy. Well, I'm gonna show you why in just a second. So watch this. I have to kind of go across this wall to be able to show you what I show. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Now I wanted to show you, here's Here's what I can see. I'm, you're looking exactly what I'm seeing. We're looking across the bottom of these trusses here. There's the garage door opening down there. Well, there was a flat two by four that went across and there's this very narrow triangle that you can see. I'm sorry, rectangle that's above the garage door. Well, here in New Hampshire, in the Northeast, uh, it's a very common thing. They're called transom windows. They let, they're, they're a really neat architectural feature, been around for hundreds of years, and they allow a lot of light into the garage. And to, because they went with extra tall doors and then the transom above it, you had to be able to raise the bottom of these trusses up to be able, so that, so that the transom would be still inside the, the, the ceiling, you know, and below the ceiling of the garage. So that's why the trusses had to be made that way. So if you can dream it with a truss, the shape, generally the truss fabricator can do it. I'm Tim Carter for AskTheBuilder.com. I hope you discovered something useful and helpful in that video. How would you like that kind of information in your email box for free every single week? Just subscribe to my free Ask the Builder newsletter. It's got new tool reviews, new product reviews. It's got all kinds of great tips. You're going to love it. If you're watching this on YouTube, just look below. Right there in the description, click that link. It takes you to the sign-up form. If you're watching this video on another website, all you have to do is go to askthebuilder.com. You'll see the newsletter sign-up form on every single page of the website. Thanks very much. If you want to discover more home improvement tips, go to askthebuilder.com.